Alrighty, here is my Halloween bookcase 2019 as well as my fireplace and uh, coffee table and all that kind of good stuff. And I wanted to show you during the day much like I did on my dining table so that you could see what I've done close up and then I'll show you tonight at night when everything twinkles and looks so pretty. Those jack-o'-lanterns up on top are both on battery operated um, a string of lights and so they won't look good until tonight. But I wanted to at least show you that I incorporated both um, regular day-to-day -day items that I had with my pumpkins up top because I just don't want to completely clear out my entire bookcase for Halloween. I just try to infuse little spooky Halloween touches to everything and uh, while still keeping a lot of the traditional items up there. So for example, and let's start up here. I still have my book or my books and my plants and stuff, but I added this really cute beware sign that at one time had a cute little uh well, it's a still life floral that I have. And I just love that sign and the way it flickers. And that's actually sequins in the bat right there. Again, at night, it looks phenomenal. And then I have this really antique looking clock that I just set at midnight for all times. But other than that, it's my books and my plants and I put a jack-o'-lantern in there. And so that could have been, as you've seen, if you've watched other videos, every day or I made it a little bit spookier. I avoided putting a lot of the black webbing in here due to the fact that it was really uh, making the bookcase so dark and I didn't like that. And in here, I just left my little mirrored tray and kept pictures of the kids, some Halloween pictures as well. But again, that's just the greens that I already had and books and whatnot, pictures. This, I tried to be creative. <laughs> this is my take on the Headless Horseman. So you've got the horse up front, which I absolutely adore this horse. I don't know why, but it's like one of my favorite little tchotchkes in the house. But see the, the pumpkin head in the background? That was my take on the Headless Horseman, less spooky version. And then up here, this is a really elegant gal at a, at a party. And if you notice on the bust up here, I added a cute little um, Halloween hat. And so I gave that a little Halloween flair. And then as if they were all at this fabulous party that's taking place in the background, I put these masquerade masks just laying around. And again, this is everything I already had in that bookcase. And then up top, this is a hard view. But again, there are those jack-o'-lanterns. That one to the right is a, um, it has sequins in it too. It glitters, it's really pretty when it's on. And then I'll come down here and just to the right of my TV, I added a cute pumpkin. And then I always have that, um, that hourglass, but it kind of looks spookier now. Just added a pumpkin right there, nothing too exciting. And then this is dark in this corner and I, it's just hard to get, get that to lighten up too much, but I love that Halloween tree, that spooky Halloween tree. And it's hard for me to get it to do much more than that. It doesn't yield a, a candle. So, I mean, you could up top. So I put a, just a string of lights in there so you can see it's spooky eyes. Isn't that fun? And then down in this lower bookcase, which, oh, I realize I don't have my Halloween books. Usually I have the kids' old Halloween books in there. I've got this great cat down here. And again, this was just, I moved out one item and put the cat in there. And then if you come back over here, of course, I always have my all my Halloween pillows out and whatnot. And I, uh, I like to put on Halloween parties. And so I've got a little cocktail hour book there, getting some ideas and a, a fun candle that really isn't totally Halloween. It's an apple cider. And most of these items, as you all know, I love to go to 
uh, uh, Home Goods or Marshalls, TJ Maxx, uh, Ross, any of those stores are the best to get your new Halloween finds and get them early. Get them early. Love this piece over here. This is from a little store called Rodworks. Look how cute that looks. And I did, I just tucked in a candle right there. Again at night, the flickering on that looks fabulous. But these are really just, these greens right here are really easy. They could go for any time of year. It certainly did not have to be for Halloween, but I just like the way it softened the brick and um, the brickwork. And then Finally, this tree, which you've seen again in the past, just everything gets a new home, is um, a fiber optic tree that I've probably had for at least 10 years. It, I, I think I told you in the past, it was a QVC find and um, it was intended for Christmas and I just thought it looked spookier rather than holiday, uh, Christmas holiday. So this is my bookcase for 2019 and I will show you an evening video of it if you stick around. Okay, here is the bookcase and the fireplace all lit up at night. Um, but I think I need to turn up the lights just a little bit because it's just kind of blurry for you but I wanted to let you see, let me back it up just a little here too. Um, <clears throat> I wanted you to see how fun it looks at night with everything lit up so beautifully. See those jack-o'-lanterns up top? And again, I've got some light going on in the background here, but um, let me turn them up just a little bit. But everything twinkles and sparkles and the cat's all lit up and he's fun. And if I go like this, turn it up just a little bit. Now you get a little bit of, whoops, maybe too much there. I'm trying to, there we go. And let me get up close so you can see again. But this is all the things that are on um, timers and um, candles are all lit and um, the evening uh, just looks so cool and I, I just really hope this is translating nicely on film for you but there's he's fiber optic isn't that fun and then again up top here you know the clock that struck perpetual 12 and my headless horseman or my version of it very loose version of it it's a little bit dark in here, but you know, with the backlights, you can see the masquerade mask and the bust with the cute little witch's hat. Beware is spectacular. See how that twinkles? The bat is sequins and he twinkles. And then, I don't know, um, come around here and there's that haunted tree with that candle twinkling and then the cat the cat's eyes are great look at this isn't he fun his eyes all sparkling and then come around here and again i just have a really simple display on my um coffee table a couple fun i got that pillow yesterday for like four dollars that orange one and then that cute little october 31st so bringing it in, but not being so, I mean, I have so much Halloween stuff already. And just trying to get a balance of everything, you know, that's probably the hardest part. And then I love my little spooky haunted house up here with the candle going. The little ghosts almost look like they're animated with the, the flickering of the flame. And then he's great too. That's a new acquisition, that pumpkin. I think we got him at like... Where did we get him? Was that Home Goods? I think that might have been Home Goods. And then finally up top. And who knew that white orchids and whatever that other plant is could be deemed fall. But there we go. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much. I hope this brought some type of decorating inspiration. It's, it's a long, laborious task, I know. But 
so well worth it. Um, happy Halloween and keep viewing for many more videos.